Wooten High School Drumline has always been a great tradition here in Montgomery County Public Schools, dating as far back as 2004 when they won the county championships, and dating as close as the present day when they won first place at the Paint Ranch competition, second place at the Reservoir competition with the award of Best Music, and third place at States with the award of Best Music. A minimum of eight hours is put in every week by these individuals along with other performances such as football games, soccer games, pep rallies, and competitions. Composed of only 13 people, Three snares. Two tenors. Five basses. And three cymbals. The drum line has been seen here as the leaders of the marching band, guiding each roll step with a beat. I'm Mrs. Herman. I teach band and orchestra here at Wooten High School. I am uh, Greg Caseman. I uh, work with the drum line here, play with the people who hit things. <laughs> I'm Kevin Rouse, I'm instrumental music. The drum line is awesome, the kids are great, the marching band sounds wonderful. Yes. Got great, great, some of the best musicians we have. More kids make all state than any other school in the state of Maryland. I'm Terrell Smith, um, the assistant director of bands at Stevenson University, also the marching percussion coordinator at University of Maryland, and I'm also the executive director of Thunder Brigade, drum music corps. Um, I teach the drum line here at, at, uh, at Wooten. It's my first year doing this. Uh, the kids are really, really talented. They are playing on some equipment that does need to be updated. I think the stuff is probably 20 years old or so, and uh, it's in it's pretty, pretty bad shape. So anything that can be done to assist with uh, helping, helping these wonderful uh, ladies and gentlemen with, with uh, getting some new gear would be greatly appreciated. And also, because of this, the level of skill that these students all demonstrate, I think you'd be very impressed uh, to hear them playing on, you know, really, really nice gear. My name is Michael Borsico. I am the visual capture head for Wooten High School. And uh, pretty much I'm just responsible for making sure that the forms are in place for the kids and they're also physically capable of accomplishing those tasks. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about how the drums are a very large part of the visual program here at Wooten High School. But unfortunately, they are falling apart and they are pretty old. So this group would really benefit visually and musically from some decent drums <laughs> so that they can use it throughout the season and for the future, and hopefully they'll last long. My harness is missing some parts, which doesn't allow us to be very uniform as a line. And also, I wanted to add a fourth drummer to the line this year because you know I love teaching these people about snare. But unfortunately we can't because we're missing many parts to this harness and no one would like to wear it anyways because it's so uncomfortable. And we have, we have a snare drum, but unfortunately it has huge cracks in the rim, which really makes it sound uh, poor, poor quality of sound. And it's missing the snares. And as you can see, there's also stuff that just makes it look very unprofessional. Okay, so my harness doesn't have a back and I have no idea what happened to it because it, ever since I got on this line, it's just been missing and it hurts every time I'm on. And my drum has a hole on the bottom head that's taped. Okay, so my snare drum is a vector piece. It falls off a lot when you're trying to put on the harness and that's not really good for the drum. And also, the very bottom of my snare drum also has holes at the bottom head. Lastly, on this drum, as you can see, we ha we've had to tie this string to keep the mechanic that holds it to the harness on and stable so that the drum doesn't fall off. We've had multiple instances where we're marching and the drum falls off and hits the floor, and that's probably an explanation for the cracks. Only in the last two months, both of these heads broke because the drums, basically the frames and the rims have been so warped out of shape that every time we tighten them, the heads just start to crack. I've had to replace two of these heads. The Spock drum, it also does this, but not just that, I also have to replace the head. The Spock drum is so bad that it also, it's also on a tilt. This part of it here, so when I, when I place it on my drum, it'll go like this, and I have to tilt it back into place. If I do a couple of rim shots, tilts out like that. So after a performance I gotta tilt it back to the center center playing angle. The padding on the inside is really worn out because we haven't had the money to replace any of this. And the J-hooks are basically like the thing that holds it to the harness 
doesn't exist anymore. This is just duct tape. We also have some random mixes of like nuts and bolts because we haven't had the proper equipment to fix the harness. My drum is not any better. Um, just like Sushil's drum, my Spock drum just falls off at random times. So when I'm marching, it sometimes lands on my foot, which is really scary, especially during competitions when you don't know what's going to happen. Now the reason for this being is because these edges are just so bent up, it's just it just won't stick on no matter what, so it like falls off randomly. This head has a little hole in it, so we put duct tape over to try and fix that. Not even that, but this part falls out at random times, so constantly when I'm marching, it just it just ends up like that, and I have to adjust it. And the wood here has been, there's like no guard for it, so this wood here has been chipping. Hi, I'm Sam. I've, I've been a base captain for five months now. My drum got a hole in it about three months ago. For two weeks, I couldn't play my drum. I just couldn't play. It was the most difficult time of my life. And we recently had to draw over the rims with sharpies so that the wood wouldn't show. There's a towel taped to the inside of my drum to keep it from ringing too much. My clicker vibrates when I hit it because the screw doesn't fit. My harness digs in to my thighs. It's just it's so difficult. What we have right here are, um, they go on a drum set, we were taking them off, and we sort of just put these little um, straps on them because that's all we could uh, use. Uh, last year what we did is we sort of um, cleaned off these, I guess you could call them symbols, um, and took off all the green corrosion because they're made out of copper. One of our instructors literally took a nail gun to it and then taped it back up, and that's all that is keeping this thing working.